Don't forget to smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel. And remember guys, this is for adults. Guys, don't forget to check me out on Instagram, Twitter, Pinterest. Find all the photos that you want of these videos. What's up, you guys? This is that Jack Dan back with another Every Marvel Legends video. This time we're talking about Every Marvel Legends Ghost Rider figure. So the first time we see a Ghost Rider figure was in the Toy Biz Marvel Legends. This was Series 3 and he even came with a bike. Awesome. Came with a metal chain. Such a cool looking figure. Figure Wave had Thor, Wolverine, Magneto, and the movie version of Daredevil as well. And there was a metallic, uh, gold metallic comic book that came version as well of that figure. Figure was the same, just had a different kind of comic book in her. Go full. You also got another one in another Marvel Legends Toy Biz Wave. This was Series 7. Came with another bike as well. And in this Series 7 there was a variant. That variant was the phasing Ghost Rider, so his bike was red and his face was burning off. Jumping into the Hasbro days, the Terax build a figure wave actually had two versions. You don't see the second one here. But there was two versions of Ghost Rider in this wave. This was considered the return of Marvel Legends, new packaging and whatnot. Took a couple year hiatus and then here we go. Here's your Ghost Rider here with the blue glowing flames there. And the variant actually had the red glowing flames. So these were really cool figures. In the Rhino build a figure wave, we had our regular Ghost Rider figure here. This was a very sought after wave and figure. So there he is, looking really good. You can see that in this particular case, he has the you know red glowing skull and his color on his shirt is white. And I'll show you here another one in a second. So Black Widow and Ghost Rider came out in the Rider's Waves with both having bikes. And as you see here, this is the, almost the exact same Ghost Rider. Got the articulated jaw here, got the chain this time, but he also has a bike since it is a Rider's Wave. And this time he has blue around his shirt. Also has the collar and of course the bike. And the bike matches his costume, so that's awesome. Also in the Rider's Wave, we had a Cosmic Ghost Rider, which is, is actually Frank Castle in the future on his Cosmic bike there. There's the back of the package. You can see the blaster he comes with. It comes with a chain whip as well. Big old orb on the front that gives it the power to move around, I guess. So how about that guys, 50 years of Ghost Rider, they're celebrating it with a HasLab, don't know what it is going to be yet, but they did give us a couple teases, so I definitely think it's going to be Robbie Reyes on his, in his uh, car, all kinds of flame effects off the tires hopefully, I think that'll be probably the HasLab. Got two little teases here that they gave us at SDCC with some tools, and this definitely looks like a Robbie Reyes set. Now, I know that can't be all there is for the HasLab. Technically, it can be. But yeah, there's the two um, teases that they gave us at SDCC, just kind of sticking them out there on the display case. And then, I guess, celebrating the 50 years, they've now given us a vintage card back. This will be coming out on the 23rd of August. You can get your pre-orders in. Vintage card back, Ghost Rider. So yeah, Mr. Stevie has given us the Nice little video that he does showing off the figure in his own personal way. Awesome. Yeah, here's his nice little grid layout that he had from that video. Love the way he does that stuff. So yeah, there he is. Got the chain, extra hands, extra head. 
check that out the transforming head as well so that's the first we've seen for that in a while and then the flame effects there along with the chain so that's a pretty cool looking vintage Ghost Rider figure there there's both head sculpts flame effects on the hands bone hands versus gloved hands chain around his body as well as the chain that he comes with articulated jaw again on the skull and that's awesome They've actually done really well with this one. So yeah, there is your package for the vintage and the figure itself and all its accessories. So here we go, Robbie Reyes, Ghost Rider, Engine of Vengeance. Inspired by a supernatural muscle car in the Marvel Comics, all new Ghost Rider 2014. Man, it's been a long time ago. There you see how large it is compared to Dwight. The figure up to the flames is 6.9 inches tall. There it is compared to the bike. I mean, that's not much bigger than the bike, but whatever i guess all these leds they're putting in there is what's going to drive this cost up so you see robbie with his chain and his other tools there and in the car with the flames going you can see he's got the led light up in his head as well that's coming out of this the seat and there you go with dwight dan and ryan looking it over and I, guys, I just don't understand the price on this. We'll talk about that later. But his tank went for less than 300 with all of the unlocks that it had. And this guy right here is going for more than that. Upwards of Galactus and Sentinel prices. But there's your Robbie Reyes with his chain, his hammer, his tire iron there. You can see the flames coming out of his mouth, out of his head. All the different accessories there that's going to come with the car itself. Robbie is pinless. Six inch figure there, like I said, but he's actually 6.9 up to the flames. There you can see all of his accessories. Car clean. There's nothing on it right there. Premium 112 scale car design measuring approximately 18.5 inches long, 7.5 inches wide, and 5.5 inches tall. You got your six flame trail effect pieces for the tires and tailpipes. You got your two brimstone risers for dynamic car display. You got your four interchangeable tires and one additional engine to convert engine of vengeance from hellfire mode to street mode. 
There it is, all lit up. Even the front section is lit up. Vehicle fully equipped with 20 LEDs for scorching hellfire light up effect in tires, engine, grill, tailpipes, and driver's seat headrest. You need three AA batteries, which are not included. The car has multiple stages of lights. The headrest, like I said, has a LED light. So when the figure sits in the car, the head lights up on the figure. There it is from the side. You can see the effects there are all different ways. From the back, just the regular tires, no flames on them. The crowdfunding project will run from September 16, 2022, 12 noon, which has already started, of course, to October 31st. So a little bit over a month and a half, about a month and a half. Uh, successfully funded, the project will begin to ship around fall 2023. The cost is $349.99 plus shipping. And will require a minimum of 9,000 backers by October 31st. So yeah, that is crazy. But there he is standing on his hood. You see the regular motor there, front and back. The, hood, the space in the trunk there to fit something. Both doors open on the sides. You see the inside where the LED is on top of the seat. From the bottom, you can tell it looks like a real car as well. Steering wheel, pedals, stick shift, radio, gauges there. Door handles, the window roller there. All right, and if we back this thing early by September 23rd, then we will get a early bird extra Robbie Reyes figure, the regular street version of Robbie Reyes. So by September 23rd, if we fund this thing, we will get him as well. So pretty cool looking figure, but a second Robbie Reyes figure. But only if we crowdfund it early. All right, so so far within a couple hours, they've already got 1,500 backers for this thing, so interesting. There will be extra unlocks, so we'll talk about that here in a sec. We don't know what they are yet, but it says something about Marvel's Underworld to unearth additional unlocks. So hopefully they'll have some things like Blackheart or Mephisto. We'll talk about that in a second. But here you go, Robbie, additional tier unlocks. And look at this silhouette right here at the very end of their trailer. That looks like Mephisto to me. So I think Mephisto is probably gonna be one of the unlocks. But yeah, there's your regular tires and whatnot on the ground. Again, Robbie on the hood. And Mr. Stevie always does a nice little layout on Instagram. And this looks really cool. So yeah, so far two Robbies if we unlock it by September 23rd. Other than that, we would just have the car and one figure with no other tiers met if we only hit 9,000 for $350. That's insane to me. That's way too high for this particular HasLab. Just my opinion. Let me know what you guys think. So that is all the Ghost Rider so far. Cannot wait to add the HasLab to it once we get it. And there they all are in package. So I'm also going to just show you the movie waves, Series 1 and Series 2. These were not 6 inch scale, so normally I don't add these. But yeah, there's all of the figures that came in the two series of movie waves. Caretaker, Fire Blast Ghost Rider, Ghost Rider Raging Vengeance. You got your Black Heart, Ghost Rider Chain Attack, Ghost Rider Flame Fist, and Scarecrow. So there you go. 2007 Hasbro releases. And as a wish list or most one list, since they actually have now tried to hit one of my uh, wish lists, which was the Robbie Reyes with his charger, I'd love to see the Woolly Mammoth from 10,000 BC storyline version of Ghost Rider there. That'd be awesome. And then also the Phantom Rider, the Cowboy Ghost Rider with his horse. Be really cool. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave me any kind of comments. Hit that notification bell so you're aware of any new videos that I have. Subscribe to the channel if you're ready. Hit that thumbs up and I'll talk to you guys later.
Guys, don't forget to check me out on Instagram, Twitter, Pinterest. You can find all the photos that you want of these videos.